and my subscribers very welcome to the tutorials from Ali the channel dedicated to the tutorials on computer science and engineering artificial intelligence software design advanced technologies and emerging trends here I'm going to share only the knowledge regarding this and nothing else I request you all to subscribe my channel share it with your friends relatives and uh, contacts which are interested in learning the technologies also I request you to comment and like and suggest me the new topics to cover under this channel thank you very much and I um, welcome you all once again to my uh, channel Twitter as Ramale let's see the today's topic thank you and today we are going to see the heuristic search taboo algorithm or taboo search okay so i am shooting it's uh, for to say right now only 14 students are there so today's date is 5th of october time is 11:45. today we actually log in in time okay so in so we can start with the thing. So let me, me uh, explain this concept first. So uh, whenever uh, we say uh, something like a heuristic search algorithms, what we are having in heuristic search algorithm, okay, or a heuristic artificial intelligence or heuristic algorithms. Uh, generally, whenever we say heuristic, we are considering there is past knowledge present. Okay. So, uh, if if you want to, uh, to say complete the heuristic search uh, with uh, something like say in one line or uh, one formula, obviously this is the uh, simplistic form of the heuristic uh, algorithms, and so it's not it may require some additional information if you want to define a particular type of heuristic algorithm but in a generic way or what you can say in a general way we can say an a heuristic algorithm and heuristic algorithm is actually uh, the combination of past knowledge that we call as a heuristic function okay uh, which is used using a greedy approach which is used Okay, which is used uh, uh, using greedy approach to get a solution to get a solution so when we say heuristic okay, that is equals to greedy approach applied over heuristic knowledge or what we call as a function okay, generally denoted by uh, h of n or by h of n so n is uh, some certain okay, generally denoted by Function generally given to by H of N. So, what is a greedy approach applied to very heuristic knowledge generally given to by H of N uh, to reach the goal state. The initial input in a heuristic algorithm is that initial input. Sir. Yes? Sir, your voice is breaking. Uh, my voice is breaking. Okay, now I think now is, is it breaking now? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. You are audible now. Okay. So, uh, so when you have this initial input plus what you have the goal state, initial input or upon the start state instead of seeing the uh, in initial input, what are the uh, what you can say required ingredient here? You are in the start state plus goal state plus h of n okay. 
plus h of n. So we are having all the heuristic values of h of n from start to goal state and from intermediate states to goal state. So every time you get the intention and it has two two queues. Okay. It has two queues. Priority queues actually. Two priority queues. Queues. What is a one is called as open and close. So the open queue is the queue where all the what you can say uh, states are served. And close are only those where the selected state are served. Okay, so close actually denotes your output. Close state or close queue denotes your output, and the priority is defined by h of n function h of n. Now, in yesterday we have seen uh, there is a uh, drawback with uh, all heuristic uh, search algorithm, and that is heuristic search algorithms won't guarantee you the optimal solution. and the turn to what you can say uh, stop if certain conditions arise so it's so you may uh, end with a, a, a wrong what you can say solution take an example here just consider you are having here some factor x or what what you can say the heuristic value and here you are having some y which is denoted which is denoted with what Your y equals to some function f of x because when you this x get process, you are getting this y. So here you are having this function f of x. So what heuristic value says that you are having this x and y. And now if you are having this function drawn like this, what we say convex search. Okay, and if you are using hill climbing algorithm for this, hill climbing algorithm for this. Okay, so You will start from this start position, and you will start climbing, climbing, climbing on this hill. And as soon as you reach a certain, what you can say, criteria, what you will see that you are on the top of the hill. So you won the race. So whenever you are doing a convex search type of algorithm, what you get, you always get an uh, optimal like solution using heuristic thing. But let's say suppose the same thing is like this. Same thing is like this. So actual top is not here, but at this position. Yes. So what happened? Your y equal to f of x. This heuristic function, uh, sir, hill climbing algorithm will give you this top. Which give you this top, which is not the actual, what you can say, uh, uh, what uh, hill top, because actual hill top is here. So here you require to use the heuristic knowledge once again for exploitation. Okay, right now what we are you use heuristic knowledge you use for एक्सप्लोरेशन मतलब आपको पता है कि इस जगह से इस जगह जाने के लिए इफ आप आप आपको ऐसे ऐसे जाना है ओके सो यू विल रीच देयर एंड यू विल फाइंड सर्टन कंडीशंस नो जस्ट कंसीडर आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन थिंग्स इन अ लिटिल मोर व्हाट कैन से विविड वे सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस अल्गोरिथम which is called as a tabu algorithm or tabu search okay so let's say suppose this is your hill and on this hill you are having this points okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 likewise can you are also in the points in a downward direction okay now you are having some origin and from this origin you are trying to find out the straight line distance of these points okay from this origin what we upon samudra sapati pasun shaharachi unchi mosto na tasa and in the same way 
you are trying to find out the straight line distance between these two points so exactly what you are getting here you are getting this straight line distance what we call as this is h of n function heuristic function and what is that h of n function is here here you are having x1 and x2 uh, sorry x this is x1 and y1 okay this point is considered as your x1 and y1 we are not going uh, to considering this zero here uh, x, uh, x1 y1 okay and this point is your x2 y2 this point you are considering as a x2 comma y2 so obviously what you are having x2 y2 so here you are having what x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 these are the uh, what you can say geometrical coordinates okay whole square you are having this uh, some plus operation here and here you are having y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square so this is your euclidean distance that you are calculating from this point to this point from this point to this point and so you know this h of n is there so whenever you reach or you can go with a manhattan distance what manhattan distance says that is the absolute of this x2 minus x1 minus y2 minus y1 mod of this so when you go there you know that you are at a top uh, what you can say position because you are at top position because x2 minus x1 is positive or uh, what you can say thing x2 minus x1 is positive so whatever the result of this x2 means there is a very easy condition that is if x2 minus x1 if x2 minus x1 is greater than is greater than what you can say zero is greater than zero climb up so we are seeing climb up so here what you are having you won't require to even consider the y vector here so x2 and x1 is there so you are going straight you are going in upward direction मतलब x1 की वैल्यू 1 है x2 की वैल्यू 2 है तो यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट अ नेगेटिव नंबर हियर सो यू आर इन अ अप डायरेक्शन सो व्हाट हैपेंस यू गो फ्रॉम x1 टू x2 ओके दिस इज ओके फ्रॉम x2 टू x3 यू आर वंस अगेन कैलकुलेटिंग द सेम थिंग दैट इज x3 minus x2 इज ग्रेटर देन 0 यू आर गोइंग इन अ अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन अगेन यू गेट हियर योर हियर यू आर इन दिस हियर x3 एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ द हिल यू आर इन x4 at this point of the v uh, heel what you are in the x4 so x4 minus x3 is again greater than 0 no negative number so you go here you calculate this h of n if it is not uh, non negative you calculate the h of n and you go here now you are in the same way you are jumping here x1 okay so what you are in x4 so now you are in this x5 minus x5 minus x4 what you will get again greater than 0 you will get some positive number it may be fractional number or it may be the uh, complete number means it may be 1 or it may be 0.1 0.2 0.3 but you will not get minus 0.1 minus 0.1 so from x5 to x6 from x5 to x6 that is what you call as a top of hill okay again you get x6 minus x5 is some positive number some positive number now you are having here x7 now you are having x7 the condition of this positivity condition of this positivity changes here because as soon as you say x7 minus x6 okay x7 minus x6 you get a negative number you get what a negative number and as soon as you get a negative number what this says that this is the hill top this is 
the hill top okay so it won't calculate and it simply return back to this position it simply return back to this position and what this call as the local maximum what this call as a local maximum so you say that you are at the top of the hill this is okay this type of calculation is okay in hill climbing or any type of heuristic algorithm if it is a search elements are in a convex if the elements are in a convex here x you are having the x1 as uh, something uh, what can say low. so whatever the thing this distance is what we are say vertical distance actually when we are calculating this okay don't uh, confuse this with the uh, say so now here their vertical distance between this x6 and x7 is negative because instead of going uh, in upward direction from x6 to x7 you are going in a downward direction and so you are uh, right back and you come here now if you go from this to x5 you go from x to x5 you have to do what x5 minus x6 not x6 minus x5 so what happens here you get again negative so you turn back and you say okay this is my hill top and this is what my i reach the goal and you know that is a in a hill climbing algorithm it is said that the agent is blind agent is blind so agent can't see anything agent is blind agent is totally blind so it only uh, go on guess work so because this agent is agent is by blind it simply climb it simply climb based on what you can say the heuristic functionality so as soon as it get the direction is upward it go on climbing as soon as it get, uh, get and sense the direction is not upward it turn back and go on top so yahan se agar kahi kisi bhi direction mein if this want to uh, what you can say uh, Uh, go forward the direction is always downward so this value this value that heuristic distance value or what is say sorry euclidean distance value that is x2 minus x1 will automatically become negative for the downward direction that is it will become less than zero and so this a uh, climber hill climber will say this is the hill top if hill is of this Uh, what you can say uh, type it is okay but let's say suppose if you are on a hill like this hill like this and if you say this is the hill top if you say this is the hill top hill climbing algorithm that means you actually fail because your hill top actual hill top is here yeah so your winning position is here so you should have to exploit your heuristic knowledge so there are two way of this first thing that is you note this down in some somewhere in a memory you note this down in somewhere in a memory okay that you got the hill top at position say k so you are having at position k you are having the hill top afterwards you creates one tt which is called as a tabu tour what you creates tt okay that means you want to check you want to check whether there is a possibility of a hill top greater than this whether there is a possibility of a hill top greater than this so let's say tt equal to 10 the stabu to is equal to 10 this is a simple number 10 means hum ab abhi 10 bar try karenge in a same direction to check is there a possibility of positive number uh, uh, acceptable okay so you already know this x5 x3 this you know already know so you can calculate the euclidean distance i am saying what is the euclidean distance that is this what we call this as a x6 minus x1 the euclidean distance this straight 
vertical distance from this x6 to x x1 that is calculated that is stored as a position k that is stored as a position k and now you are going da uh, downward for 10 times how many times you are actually uh, climb up this is 0 8 so we are starting from this for 1 2 3 4 and 5 so on 5th you got the hilltop so you got hilltop here on 5th what you can say move on 5th move so you decided uh, this TT Tabu tour double the number of these moves you are getting this ऐसा होता है ना हम कहीं जाते हैं घूमने के लिए जस्ट ट्राई टू एनालाइज दिस हेलो यस हां तो जस्ट कंसीडर दैट वी आर गोइंग फॉर अ टूर हम घूमने के लिए जा रहे हैं ओके और व्हेन वी आर गोइंग फॉर द टूर जहां हम घूमने जा रहे हैं जस्ट कंसीडर हियर वी आर गोइंग एंड हियर वी आर हैविंग व्हाट यू कैन से a place where we want to uh, roam तो हम, हमने यहाँ पर हम पहुँच गए तो हम में से कुछ लोग होते हैं हम चार पांच या जो जितने भी ग्रुप में घूमने जाते हैं लोग उसमें से कुछ लोग तो ऐसे होते हैं ना वो क्या बोलते हैं यार तुम यहीं पर रुको मैं और देखता हूँ कि यहाँ आसपास और कुछ है क्या होता है ना ऐसे yes, yeah. so यहाँ आसपास और कुछ है क्या that is the tabu search tabu search matlab you actually got something which looks like a destination but you are yet not satisfied with that you are yet not satisfied with that so you just want to search around ab search around karna hai to yahan par to hum vehicle se aa gaye fast move yahan tak hum jo aaye wo very fast algorithm se aa gaye na move karte hue but now we can't go a more distance so apne dost kya bolte theek hai bhai tujhe dhoondna hai to dhoond you want to explore you can explore but just don't go uh, what you can say far matlab bahut zyada dur mat ja yahi par nazdik kahi par hai kya itna dhoond so the, that is what we call as a tabu tabu means something that whenever you reach your destination why is called as tabu tabu search whenever you reach something which looks like a destination you try to explore is it possible to have more than this it's just like that is if in first exam if you you are studying for a daily for a one hour and you score around 70 marks then you may consider that if you go on uh, working uh, instead of one hour one and a half hour you may score more marks and that is what we call as an exploitation so here we are simply using the explorative now you are going to exploit it means you are what we call as going beyond our limit taboo means what here taboo search is what it actually help you to go beyond our limit so what this says this k is there what this says that k is there okay is registered and afterwards is go on searching for 10 times so obviously this point is having certain Euclidean distance let's say this is about this move so you will reach here by 4 count you will reach here by 4 count and after that you are have the 6 count when you have the 6 count in upward direction you will obviously get this 6 count upward direction this count per direction let's say this is the intermediate value m m now what we are seeing the vertical distance we actually shift this x1 here x1 here and you are having whatever the xk here actually x6 and 10 so x16 so we are try to find out x16 minus x1 this vertical distance if x1 is placed straight below this x16 is greater than the k or not if it is greater than this k we know that there exists a hilltop which is what you can say having height more than the k as soon as we get that 
we discard the k as our hill top we discard the k as our hill top and we return back we return back to hill climbing algorithm we return back to hill climbing algorithm what we have done in this space with this tabu tour what we have done in this space of this tabu tour that is for every next step we decrease this tt counter by 1 so when you make 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 like this and when this becomes zero when this tt counter become zero what we do we try to compare we try to compare uh, the distance that is vertical distance with this k and with real in some cases they say that instead of going all along the complete tt it may happen that you may you may miss in between because you, you may have the hill top like this yeah you may have the hill top here uh, what we get we get something that is explorative so this uh, there are two counters used in tabu one is called as a tabu two that is a tt and one is called as aspiration search aspiration search means whenever you reach here okay whenever you reach here at the top okay you should have to what you can say force that search algorithm to set the tt and so you go on selecting this aspiration what this aspiration search do it checks how many moves you have taken to reach here how many moves you have taken to reach here and generally plus one move or by two move are added as a tt okay let me explain this using uh, what you can say a little bit uh, simplistic diagram because he, here we got quite a clutter well, let me clear this first so i'm going to uh, draw a simple hill diagram let's say suppose here you are having a hill now i, I drawn a little complex hill here okay so this is your hill now here you are having what you can say this is a straight line we are considering this is a straight line so this is your x1 or a start position this is your x1 or start position so we are having a distance calculation from this position onwards this position onwards here you are having okay then here you are having here you are having the distance and at this position also you are having the topmost distance so what you actually done you are considering this x1 here you are considering that x1 is actually get shifted straight below the this point okay so let's consider from x1 you are having this move 1 2 3 then consider this as a fourth move fifth and this as your sixth move because at this sixth move you consider this as your winning point you consider this as your winning point hill climbing search what we call heuristic hill climbing search it always calculating the heuristic value from x2 to x1 x2 to x3 to x1 x4 to x1 x5 to x1 x6 to x1 uh, this x6 to x1 and it say that is as it goes increasing that is greater than 0 and likewise it go on climbing up but when is start going in this direction it becomes negative so when you, you are here you actually reach here in a six step so what your tabu aspiration do it says that 
let's make this state 12 okay this 12 so usually in algorithm you may choose 3 maximum or 7 that is plus 1 the whatever stage uh, steps you require to reach here than this but for uh, what you can say more approximately uh, result generally this tt is set by the aspiration to double of this so tt is 12 now so you go on doing after this 6 after 6 12 means 18 so it's a 7 8 9 and this is registered as a, a distance a okay that is what you can say we we have distance here x6 okay x6 minus x1 x6 minus x1 that is equals to a that is equal to a so we are actually trying to find out a distance which is more than this a from this x1 to uh, whatever this thing so you get this 7 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. So now 18, you got x 18. You got x 18. You got x 18. And minus, what you can say? x1 once again minus x1 so your heuristic knowledge says that now you got a distance b you got distance b here and what is the condition it is condition is such that this b okay uh, this b is uh, more what you can say greater B is greater okay here you got this B okay and the condition is simple that B is greater than A so you know because B is greater than A B is greater than A this is your new top okay this is your new hill top so this is your new hill top this is your new things but once again you go for the aspiration search what aspiration search means there should have to be a higher peak than this okay we got we found one peak and when we go with the tabu to we got the another peak okay so how many uh, things are there now this peak may be you can keep TT, you can reinitiate TT that is Tabu Tour, which was initiated here in aspiration search to uh, double of the first steps that is that is the first steps that you are required to reach to the first stop. So you are once again reinitiating this TT to 12. What happens in this path? TT was 12 here, 11, 10, 9, 8. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. So TT becomes 0 here and you said and you actually reach here. Sometimes what happened in, uh, before TT becoming, becoming 0 you may reach to some top. You may reach to some top. Means say suppose if you are in a condition like this. you have condition like this and TT is remain going zero here but you may miss this so some uh, times it says that instead of uh, waiting for uh, reaching this TT to zero let check the distance this x uh, whatever xk minus x1 after some interval so if you are on this TT if you are on this TT 12 you may this tt in two parts so you what you say first part is six and say second part is zero so when tt reach to six you are once again calculating this intermediate distance 
okay you are once again calculating this intermediate distance and that is what we call as aspiration search that is also the aspiration search so you are on two thing one is the tabut tour another is the aspiration search so you reach here you reach here and you consider there may exist uh, another peak which is higher than this so you go with this tt equal to 12 and you say that is okay you go with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 and we are already decided that when we reach to the 6 when we reach to the 6 we are going to check this distance so now let's consider here that is you are having here x uh, 24 okay we reach to the 6 after 80 24 minus x1 minus x1 so you got some distance equal to c and here c is greater than b here c is greater than b but the condition is that you won't stop here you won't stop here considering this as a hill top why because you are still having the aspiration search and your tt is not zero your tt is not zero so you check this you check this now when you check this distance that is x25 minus x1 and it is greater than x24 minus x1 you continue your search you continue your search else or otherwise you consider this as a hill top but now this is greater than this so you continue this to zero okay at zero you reach at this position you reach at this position and this is your correct hill top this is your correct hill top or this is uh, the correct hill top so when you use the tabu search when you use the tabu search even if you not get the optimal solution you will always get what you get you will always get an approximate solution which guarantee you the result which is more nearer to the actual what you can say result you got this hello yes sir yeah so uh, do you have any uh, you can say questions queries or anything um, say regarding this tabu search i try to explain this uh, using uh, the hill climbing algorithm you can use any uh, algorithm means your best for search or anything and if you add there an exploitation means you don't want to stop your searching until you get satisfied and again there is no satisfaction so actually tabu search means you are going you are trying to do this search infinitely but uh, in fin if you go on doing the things infinitely it it will never end so what you are considering okay you are saying that is we we will have a tabu tour let's we are going to exploit these three or four times okay and you are you are having the aspiration search so in aspiration search you are saying okay let's say that the first uh, goal that we reach in a 12 move or 6 moves so for next let consider tabu tour as a 12 and we will uh, check after every 6 moves whether we are getting higher or not or whether we are near to this and likewise so this is what you can say so if you go with the tabu search you can say the tabu search is uh, guaranteeing you the approximate solution to any problem in artificial intelligence when it comes to searching because it won't stop at uh, the particular distance so if you have any questions queries you can ask hello if you don't have any question and queries uh, i'm just giving you a uh, homework for this tabu search and that is uh, book is already uploaded in your uh, uh what uh, classroom okay so just uh, go through this uh, theory of the tabu search uh, in classroom that is after hill climbing hello sir yes hello uh, can you please explain it again in short in short uh, tabu search so tabu search is what it is just going beyond the 
simply simple heuristic search using the heuristic knowledge itself matlab abhi samjho aapne i'm just trying to give in a simple word that is you know the numbers 1 to 9 yeah 1 to 9 everybody and there is a zero also yes zero also now you are as a child you know that there ex there are this 10 numbers 0 1 2 3 to 9 now let's consider you are having uh, someone told you that is if you place a 0 or 1 it become 10 0 or 1 it become become 10 does the number ends here hello no no, no. we can form okay so now you know that there is a possibility of compounding there is a possibility of compounding so what as a child even if you don't know the things you will try to put some numbers over each other some number over each other you may go on putting like this okay you don't you may not name them but you go on putting these things okay and you already know the values that is zero is less than 1 1 is less than 2 so you know that 1 0 must have to be less than 11 how you know this because you know that 1 is 1 but 0 is less than 1 so 11 is greater than 10 this is a simple simplistic logic generally a child apply yes 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 sir yeah and that's this but when child apply this child actually get aspiration child actually actually aap hum jisko kya bolte hai na hum inspire ho jate hai na kuch to bhi aur zyada karne ke liye for example Uh, when you go to the gym and if someone is uh, doing exercise or usne agar uh, se 10 pull ups uh, laga diye to aap inspire ho jate ho at least i could go for one like that so hum jab oh, inspiration or aspiration jo bolte that is the first factor in a tabu search okay that is it, it there is a uh, what you can say hunger like thing in a tabu search that is uh, there may exist and more optimal value than this so it just go on searching for that magar ab uske liye agar search karna hai to mujhe aage bhi badhna padega to how long i can go because if i go infinitely that will be a problem okay so how long i can go to mai ek limit tay karta hu that is called as a tabu tour that is a cons, uh, what you can say uh, counter decremental counter so tabu tour jo hota hai jo apna first success uh, steps hote hai if say in a first success steps you are uh, you achieved first success in a six steps you generally set this tt to 12 and to make it more optimal this tabu tour we make the intervals we have two interval banaye yahan pe 0 6 that is after six moves you are going to check and after when this counter become zero another you can go with the 9 6 3 0 like that hum uske parts banate hain wo part par hum check karte if you say 9 6 we will check at 9 we will check at 6 we will check at 3 and we will check at 0 and all these distances are calculated with respect to x1 okay so x6 minus x1 x9 minus like this and hame jo milta hai usse hum tay karte ki whether we should have to go forward or we have to go backward or we have to stop there for example if here we are here okay and our tt is 12 this is 6 we know tt is not not reduced to 0 so we go in a forward direction but let's say suppose here tt is reduced to 0 reduced to 0 and we are not getting so we go backward and we say this, this that this is the uh, thing but the tabu say never go back so what will go we once again use the aspiration search and we reset this tt to new 12 new high and we go on so if you see the sports person they always try to break their own records okay by doing more practice by doing more out against the thing and that is what can call as a tabu search algorithm is it clear now hello hello uh, sir i have i have a question sir yeah Sir, is this search related to brute force search, uh, brute force algorithm? 
it is not brute force algorithm it, brute force algorithm is uh, very slow uh, that is our hill climbing like something that uses the brute force greedy approach jab bolte na when we are not using the heuristic value when we are not using the heuristic value uninformed search jo hote those are the brute force means uh, we are going from one node to another node without knowing the consequences we are not cal calculating for the consequences so brute force shows are uh, slow they may not give you the solution many times okay and optimal solution is never possible in a brute force when we use the heuristic it becomes quite sophisticated it is still brute force but the force now not the brute so you are simply having some some force there but it is not brute force because you are using some intelligence and some limitations brute force shows means going infinitely infinitely you are doing the same task okay yes. but here you are stopping somewhere and so it is not the purely brute force it is not purely brute force yes it actually uses the greedy approach which is the approach of brute force search to go and explore the things but it is not brute force okay, okay. so got okay. thank you yeah. any other questions hello uh so everybody got this uh, uh what to say our taboo search yes sir yeah so for this taboo yes, taboo search as a homework you just go through the book and here what is a main idea of the taboo search is given here that is to augment the explore exploitative strategy of heuristic search with an explorative tendency that looks for the new areas in a search space so it will always try to find out the new areas it won't stop there but how many times that you require to check using the tt that is what we call as a taboo tool so taboo search is basically guided by the heuristic function uh, that is one thing solution space is there you have the taboo search modifies this termination criteria every now and then so whenever it reach the termination criteria it goes with the aspiration is modify the termination criteria is change it to some something else likewise or it just increment it using the tt and likewise so when we have the taboo search we may go for example here the taboo search with uh, this numbering is given example with you can go through that so taboo search uh, uh, how what you can say it changes the uh, ith component it have uh, some elements likewise for this particular problem so taboo search philosophy is simply you have to go on explore uh, exploring more okay you are go have to go exploring more so these are the uh, thing in a taboo search and that is why taboo search is considered as the most complete heuristic search okay because it not stop and you can uh, start it from the point from where you left and say suppose in the first iteration of the taboo search you stop here in a memory you actually have this point registers okay this point registers for example first point is your a point second point is your b point so you registered a point here you register b point here and this is your third point so you register c point here and now you want to explore you are at the c point so you know that this is the downward direction and this is the upward direction so you may restart from this onwards so in gaming and in uh, many things the robots when we call the self learning okay the path it actually use the taboo search to uh, what you can say register the path correct path and it also gives the explorative and exploitative qualities to the software agent so that software agent can what can say search for more instead of stopping at a particular goal so it's just work like a human being so once a human being know the letters uh, sorry the numerals from 0 to 9 okay it can create the infinite numbers by just combining these two number okay if you know the letters from a to z okay from a to z you can 
create as many words as you want just by making some arrangement of these words and what we call them as a words yes you may say and are eat eat like that so the dictionary are but there are only 26 alphabets yes that is what but you can have the infinite number of words trillions and billions of words and you can go on creating the words just by uh, making some changes into the uh, spelling of that particular uh, thing and this is what you can say the tabu search is just something like that so i think you have understood the tabu search philosophy very well and as a homework you just go through the book read the theory and if you found anything that uh, th that is what you can say difficult you can discuss with me and we'll try to explain the things to you once more about this in next uh, lecture of artificial ai kr we are going to see the randomized search where we are going to see the simulated anneli genetic algorithms and ant colony optimization okay thank you very much guys for uh, listening me uh, so carefully and i'm really appreciate that this time you ask some questions because uh, your questions actually gives me inspiration to study more so that i can give you the uh, what you can say maximum from this okay so whenever is i instead of a teacher asking question to student what i uh, say that is if a student is uh, uh, what you can say asking questions to the teacher the teacher can give more okay if i ask you the questions uh, that may be something but if you ask me questions i can prepare me myself well so that i can give answer to those questions and in that way you can learn more okay so if you are asking question i really ask, uh, I appreciate that thank you very much uh, we'll meet now tomorrow in the next session of ai kr or i think it's the thursday uh, you know it's wednesday so ai kr lecture will be there so i'm ending the session now thank you very much for attending the session